Good morning, I am Deaconess Intern Claire. It is August the 9th and it is time for our daily devotion. We're, we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 today and we're going to go all the way to verse 25. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and our brothers Sophonis, to the church of God in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be his holy people together with all of those everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and their Lord and ours. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gifts, as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but you perfectly united in mind and thought. My brothers and sisters, some from Chloe's household have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this, one of you says, I follow Paul, and another says, I follow Apollos. Another says, I follow Cephas, still another, I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I did not baptize any of you except Crispus and Gaius, who no one can say that you were baptized in my name. Yes, I also baptized the household of Stephanas, but beyond that, I don't remember if I baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. For the message of the Christ is foolish for those who are per perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent, I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since the wisdom of God, the world, for since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. So, okay, there's a lot of repetition in this section, which I fumbled over and can be a little bit confusing. But the, um, so of course, like the repetition of saying Christ's full identity, so our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ, is of course like Paul really pounding home the whole, like, this is our, like, he is the, the figurehead of the gospel. He is the center of this. So that's kind of why he wants to keep emphasizing that. Um, and so this is him writing to churches in Corinth and kind of talking about the divisions. And um, early on, there were, of course, like different apostles, different um, messengers of the gospel. And so some people, there really were divisions between Paul, Apollos, Cephas, and then when the, I think the wisest person says, I follow Christ, because it's almost like saying like, when we have things today, like we want to say we're Lutheran or we're Baptist or we're Methodist, like, you know, everyone wants to split these hairs, but ultimately we should find our identity in Christ. We need to find, because Luther was a man. Um, he is fallible. Christ is not. Um, so um, Paul's kind of pointing out like, hey, you're saying all of this stuff, but like we're not Jesus. Um, Jesus was the man who, man and God who came and died for you. And then I, this is the best part of the entire passage. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. So Jesus put himself in the supreme weakness. I mean, he was born as an infant, reliant on his mother and earthly father to raise him up um 
to grow and experience like life from the very beginning in very meek and humble beginnings and then of course ultimately we see him in the greatest weakness that humans could ever be put in is i mean he's crucified on a cross he's stripped of his clothes he's beaten ruthlessly um he receives 39 lashes because 40 were meant or were known to kill men um so this weakness this divine weakness we see um this theme of great reversals um and of course like it's also seen in the sermon on the mount regarding um and like the first will be last the last will be first um christ's greatest moment of power is on the cross when he is perceived as the weakest um and so it's paul is essentially saying like bickering among yourselves because you follow what one man is saying it's not okay we need to talk about what jesus says and stay true to this thing and there are still big um divisions between jews and greeks and those who were jewish and are now following christ and those who are greeks are following christ and so every there's a debate on whether or not greeks need to become jews before they become christians and that's a big thing that you see throughout um very 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 early churches um and paul kind of has to correct peter when he gets a little too caught up in the argument himself um but this is essentially paul kind of saying like guys stop you're you're splitting hairs we follow jesus that's what our focus should be our focus is to spread the gospel teach what jesus taught and be people of this beautiful new creation so lots of things in 25 verses my gracious um but now we will pray the lord's prayer um so if you'll bow your heads with me our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen um so for announcements today um we do not have youth group tonight um tomorrow we ha will have mahjong at 10 in the morning um saturday tentatively we will have sprouts at one although that's i i will text people if um just with car situations we sh we will see but tentatively yes we have sprouts at one so if you know a kiddo ages five to ten who would like to come for a bible story a snack and kind of a fun craft please bring them by the church saturday at one unless you hear from me differently <laughs> um and then of course on sunday we have sunday school at 9 15 and followed by our worship service at 10 30. we will have a guest um preacher because pastor bromick is out of town on vacation um so prayers for safe traveling would be nice but yeah so until then i will see you all tomorrow <laughs> so have a great day